undo a commit without misery. You botched your last commit, you want to fix it, but you haven't memorized the git voodoo chant. Good news, if you haven't pushed yet, the IDE can make this really easy. Let's take a look. First, go to the Git tool window and make sure you're on the log tab. Here's the list of commits on the current branch. The most recent one is at the top. Right click that commit and in the pop up window, choose undo commit. That commit has some changes. We don't want to discard them. Let's keep them in the default change list. And now the commit tool window tells me that I have unstaged changes. And now that commit never happened. Let's look a little deeper. You're editing, say, a markdown file. Let's leave the commit tool window and the git tool window open to see the updates as we go. You change some text and go to do a commit, put in a message, and for the thousandth consecutive time, you spot a typo just as the on key up event fires when clicking commit. Alas, the commit tool window shows that there are no stage changes. And in your git log, there it is, the mistaken commit. That means it's too late, right? Nope, if you haven't pushed yet to a protected branch, you can clean things up locally and the IDE puts a convenient UI atop the underlying git command. In the git tool window, find the most recent commit. It's the one at the top. When we select it, we see that we get more detail about the commit. We can actually double click the file to see what the change was. When you right click on a commit, you get some actions that you can take on it. Some of them might be grayed out. For example, if I go to an older commit that's already been pushed, right click, I can't do an undo commit because it's grayed out. Back to the first commit. Right click on it, choose undo commit. Now the commit had some changes in it and these changes need to go somewhere. The IDE's change lists feature provides just such a place. We'll stick with the default change list. This results in our commit tool window showing the unstaged commits after we click OK. A look in the git log also shows a change. That commit is gone. We're back to where we were before the commit. What would this have been like from the command line? Let's take a look at the Git Tools console tab. This lets us see behind the scenes. There it is, the command that we would have had to type from the command line. And that's it for undoing your last commit. You can read more about this on the help pages for undoing changes, managing change lists, and more. And visit this tip in the guide where we help you learn your tools developer to developer. Thanks for watching.